Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to set up uh, the VMware Workstation Player. And uh, we'll go ahead and install the Kali Linux for VMware on the VMware Workstation Player. And that's what we are going to cover in this demo. Already, I've downloaded all the software needed. And so here you see the VMware Player. Um, I want to quickly install it. And I've also got uh, Kali Linux 2023.4 for VMware AMD 64 okay so let's get the workstation player installed and we'll go ahead and install the Kali Linux for VMware on top of that platform okay so what we're going to do is simply double click the VMware workstation player by the way this is where I downloaded it so you go to vmware.com go to products then you go to workstation player and uh, there is a, a free download here so when you click on it it takes you to uh, the product download so you could see this is version 17.5 which is the latest version i know how to scroll down we have um, the vmware workstation 17.5.0 uh, player for linux of course what i'm using is windows so i downloaded the second option here for windows operating system so just hit on download don't need to sign up to download it and uh, once that guy is done downloaded um, go to your download directory and there you see it sitting here double click on that guy and then the installation wizard is going to launch just the way you're seeing it here and so we'll go to next and we are going to accept the license agreement we'll go to next um, if you have any other virtualization product you need to have uninstalled it uh, while you are doing this as a matter of fact, what I use is VirtualBox. Um, I've already gone to uninstall my VirtualBox before installing these particular products. Okay, so enhanced keyboard driver, um, a reboot will be required to use this feature, but this feature requires uh, 10 meg of your hard drive, host hard drive. No issues, add VMware Workstation Console tool into system part. We'll go to next and um, if you want to join the VMware customer experience improvement program tick this and also check for product update tick this um, I'm just leaving it at the default go to next I want to have a shortcut of this tool on the desktop of my PC next and install all right so let's go ahead and get this guy installed and um, at the end of the installation then we'll see how we can install the Kali Linux for VMware on this platform okay so just hang on and uh, we'll wait for the installation to complete okay so at this stage we don't need any licensing because um, this is a workstation player so we don't need to purchase any licensing to use this product we just uh, leave the licensing and then click on finish uh, you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to vmware player to take effect click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart i'm going to click on no because a restart is going to uh, disable everything here including my recording so i'm going to click on no i'm going to restart um, another time so we can go over to the search on the PC and type VMware and you could see the icon here VMware Workstation um, 17 player so going to click on that guy to launch it all right so it comes up here VMware Workstation 17 player uh, use VMware Workstation Player for free, that is for non-commercial, or enter a license key to allow commercial use. Of course, this is for non-commercial. So I'm going to hit continue and finish. All right. So the guy launches and um, what we can do here is similar to what we can do um, if you are using virtual bots. Um, so here we can create a new virtual machine or we can open a virtual machine so if you have an ISO file 
let's say you have Windows Server 2016 ISO or Windows 10 ISO you want to install them here you simply click on create a new virtual machine but if you have um, Kali Linux the virtual machines which um, is an OVA file you know w when we went to where you can download Kali uh, there are two types of Kali you can download, right? There is pre-built, which is a fully functional machine that comes with a username and password. And there is another one that you have to actually be the one, the installer image. Okay, so if you are using the installer image of Kali, that means it's an um, ISO file. But if it's pre-built, pre that is already a functional machine. So it depends on which one you have. If you have anything ISO file, you have to go to create a new virtual machine. But you have a complete system, a pre-built system that comes with a username and password, like your Parrot, your Kali, your OWASP, uh, broken web application. Then you are going to go to open a virtual machine and navigate to where that virtual machine is. Let's say, for instance, you want to install a Windows machine, which is an ISO file. Um, you are going to decide uh, where the ISO file is. So if you click here on create a new virtual machine and you are going to browse through wherever the Windows 10 or the server is located. So you could see I have some um, ISO images here for Linux on this machine. So that's not the part I want to take because I've got a uh, Kali Linux downloaded for VMware, which is a uh, or a pre-built image so i'm going to click on open a virtual machine and i'm going to my download directory and in here i'm going to look for kali linux 2023.4 vmware open that guy open this and select this file in there and click on open and boom we are good so this machine should display here and all i need is to click on play virtual machine and it launches it by default it takes two gig of ram from my system uh, but we can actually modify all of this um, the same way we're able to modify it on in a virtual box so um, that is a vmware player so you could see edit virtual machine settings so let's click on it and it allows us to make some changes to this machine Okay, so if I want to reduce this RAM, I should be able to do it here. So I can take it back to 10.24. And we go to processor. Wow, it's taking four CPUs. That is huge. <laughs> and then on the hard disk, it's taking 80 gig, um, 80.1 gig. That to me is huge. And this is where we can configure which type of network. We have NAT network, we have host only, and then we have custom. Um, if we customize it, we have the option to select the network adapter of our choice. Okay. And there is also option to use bridge uh, where you define which adapter you want to use. Okay. Whether it's your LAN adapter on your laptop or the wireless card on your laptop. Okay, so you can see this has taken effect, one gig and one processor, then uh, USB compatibility, you can select which one your system supports. My system is 3.0 or higher uh, USB speed. And uh, that's it. So it is similar actually to uh, VirtualBox. And once we are done with all the changes we want to make, we scroll down here, we click on OK and we could see all those changes here now um, ram is one gig and i could go ahead and say power this virtual machine uh, so the virtual machine is going to try to boot for the first time uh, that is on a vmware uh, workstation player all right so we we'll wait for the machine to boot up and this is kali linux and we are now running it on a virtual box platform so if you want to use VMware Workstation Player, first off, you have to go to the website and download VMware Workstation Player, which is here, and install it. Um, this is for Windows and this is for Linux. And when you are done installing it, when you get to Kali here, um, 
Kali Linux, please make sure that the Kali you are downloading uh, uh, it matches the virtualization platform that you are using. Okay, so if we go to virtual images, and uh, you are going to see option to download for VMware, for VirtualBox, for Hyper-V. If you are using VMware, um, VirtualBox cannot work on a VMware platform, and neither will VMware work on a VirtualBox. So you make sure that the Kali you are downloading matches the exact virtualization platform that you are using. So I used VMware Workstation Player, and then I downloaded VMware Kali, which is going to be installed on that workstation player. Okay, so um, it's just a one gig of RAM and it's actually taking some time to boot up. But that's actually how you go about setting up your um, VMware workstation environment and uh, everything pretty much will work fine just the same way it does on your virtual box environment. It's actually a good idea to know how to set up each of these um, environments, be it a VMware platform, VirtualBox, or Hypervisor, which is Hyper-V for short. Okay, so this just a uh, hang on for this Kali to finally boot up. So we are able to confirm that the installation is successful. And um, in the next video, we we'll see how we can set up this in a um, Hyper-V environment, all right? So we could log in with the default credentials of this machine, which uh, username is Kali and password is Kali. And we log in. And um, this is running on a VMware um, environment. So you could see my VMware. So I could go to full screen here and um, I can enter Unity mode. I can as well. Uh, click here to send control or delete when I want to log into the system and I could suspend this system. Suspend is like we're trying to pause it. If I drop down here, you see shut down, suspend or restart. So I could reboot this system by clicking on restart here. Uh, this icon here, just have to click on it to drop down. Go click here to pause it. Um, are you sure you want to suspend? No. I don't want and then under the player drop down icon you could go to power and still do all those stuff like shutdown restart etc you could send control or delete you could go to manage and go to virtual machine settings and um, try to do one or two tweak uh, full screen mode is also here um, so virtual machine settings if you go to it it takes us to where we have gone to before uh, where we'll be able to uh, customize hard drive, network adapter, etc. Um, so that's how to do it on a VMware workstation player. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then um, see you in the next video where we'll see how we can set up um, Kali Linux on a Microsoft Hyper-V. Thank you so very much and catch you in the next video.